in Europe, you're messing up, you're not doing what you're supposed to do, you're not playing well, your team's not winning, they can cut you like that. And speaking of experience and basketball, it's a different game. I think European basketball is completely different from the West Coast of the NBA and the way the college plays. You can a little bit talk about that on how ball handling is different in their plays and what they do, how the coaches react. I know you have a great story about the Tel Aviv coach, um, mm -hmm. about going off on you guys and he has his accent and you're like, I don't really know what he's saying, but this is awesome. Like, yeah, <laughs> no, I just remember like, uh, like the the first game I was really like playing in, I I messed up whatever he like had taken me out. I was having actually a solid game, but he like he just yelled at me like so crazy, like so not so crazy or bad. Like it wasn't that out of normal, but you know it's like my first time really experiencing accents with a coach. So he's like screaming at me, and you know when you're upset, your accent starts to um, come out a little bit more. <laughs> So he's screaming at me and I'm like understanding like most of the words, but I'm like sitting there, I'm like, number one, I'm like, damn, you know, I just messed up and like, <laughs> I'm pissed at myself, but I'm also like trying to understand, you know, like it's cause I, I got better over time. Um, but he was just chewing me out so bad. And that was kind of like my, my first moment there, but yeah, it's, it's way different. Like, you know, here, so for example, in Europe, um, uh, even, you know, some uh some higher level teams you have to like you can get cut basically at any at any moment like i had when i went to herzalia i had i want to say seven different american teammates eight different american teammates that's insane like, yeah like four or five were when i got there um because they we ended up doing doing okay and doing well and stuff when i got there they were really bad and so they brought myself in um guy abdul Ghadi went to washington um, another guy, Terrell Parks, another guy, Elijah Thomas, and then they brought in the guy, Jared Cunningham, uh, they, like all in, they brought us all in, in the span of probably a month or, or less, uh, and they released all their guys. So it was that. And then, you know, we had some injury problems, like Jared got hurt. He had to go home after, you know, he was only there for a month. So it's just way more like, you know, in the NBA, you have a set roster. And it'll almost always, unless you trade or whatever, it'll almost always stay that way. In Europe, you're messing up. You're not doing what you're supposed to do. You're not playing well. Your team's not winning. They can cut you like that. Like they might, that and they might not even, you know, they, some teams might not even pay you. Like it's, it's, it's way more cutthroat. And speaking, speaking of pay, I mean, I've asked you this 5,000 times. John tonight asked you this. What is it like living in the Mediterranean of Israel and what did they give you? What they put you in to share a little? I know they put you in a super nice apartment. You didn't have to. I mean, what, what did they give you? Let, let, let's have you answer. So, it. I mean, I don't, you know, I, I kind of got like, especially to the European life, I kind of got spoiled a little bit because I went into, you know, two good situations and, you know, in the first division in places where, you know, they take care of you. So they gave me, you know, my, my house or they gave me an apartment that was nice and, you know, it was great. They gave me a car. Uh, I mean, that's what they give all the players. So they, you know, housing, car, pay for everything. So then obviously you get your money and basically for the nine months, 10 months you're there, or however long you're there, you all have to pay for is food and whatever you want. You and know, then taxes, taxes are great. Yeah. Cause <clears throat> obviously since you're making your money there, you come back with, you know, a lot more money. So if you're, you know, let's just say making, I don't know, a million overseas or something, right. Or, or 200,000 overseas would be you know, like here will be making, you know, double or something just because you're coming back with a lot more of your money, um, which is, which is great, you know, but, um, yeah, it's just like, a, it's such an interesting thing. Like, but you said living in this Mediterranean, it was like a, it's a bit of a culture shock. Um, initially I was, I was surprised, honestly, how developed Israel was like, you know, obviously my, my mom is Jewish. And so like, I, I know Israel isn't like, the desert or something, you know, but right. I was surprised how, like when you go in the city, if you go to Tel Aviv, like it looks like, I don't know, if you didn't know where you were, you could be like, oh, this is Miami or this is like, you know, it looks or Santa like Monica a, or yeah, it looks like a big city. Like, Venice. And, yeah, <laughs> like it looks, it, it's beautiful. Like the beaches are awesome. Like You go to the north and it looks like Ventura, the Malibu area, hills, mountains. And yeah, it was, it was so crazy. And you've been there, so you know how it is. It's right. so crazy to see, um, just, just how 
developed it is and i didn't i didn't know that at the time